The life and duties of an executioner in medieval times were complex and often grim. Executioners held a unique and paradoxical position in society, being both feared and necessary. Here's an overview. Executioners were responsible for carrying out sentences of capital punishment, which included beheadings, hangings, burnings, and other methods depending on the crime and local laws. They were skilled professionals who needed to perform their duties with precision to ensure a swift and, ideally, painless death. Poor performance could lead to prolonged suffering for the condemned, which could result in public outrage. In addition to executions, their duties often included administering corporal punishments such as flogging, branding, and mutilation. Executioners were also tasked with torturing prisoners to extract confessions or information, a common practice in medieval judicial systems. Executioners often inherited their position, passing it down through generations within families. The job carried a significant social stigma. Executioners and their families were often ostracized and lived on the fringes of society. Despite this, the role was essential, and executioners were sometimes compensated well for their services, receiving housing, tax exemptions, and steady income. They had to maintain and prepare their tools, like swords, axes, and ropes, ensuring they were in good condition. Executioners also needed to have a strong understanding of anatomy to perform their duties effectively. While the job was grim, it provided a sense of stability and security. Executioners often had legal protection and were granted certain privileges due to their role in maintaining law and order.